Now at 10, tragedy at UNC Charlotte. Two people are dead, four others hurt after a gunman opened fire on campus. We had a, the most tragic situation that it can occur on a campus at UNC Charlotte this evening. I'm really shocked that this happened, you know, thinking like this is still a safe campus, but things can still happen. And so that's definitely, you know, bringing me back down to reality. You just hear a lot of sirens, a lot, the helicopter, and then I texted one of my friends, she told me that there was not a shooter on campus, and we were like, oh my goodness. Tonight, emotions running high for the students, staff, parents, our entire community. And although a suspect is in custody right now, there are still many questions left unanswered. Eyewitness News at 10 starts live right now. And thank you for staying with us, everyone. I'm Erica Bryant. And I'm Scott Wickersham. Channel 9 has been bringing you every development on this tragic story on air since UNCC first alerted students just before 6 o'clock about an active shooter on their campus. This is a live look right now at the campus of UNC Charlotte from Chopper 9. A quiet sort of calm after a very tragic afternoon. Our live team coverage tonight begins with anchor Allison Lattice live on campus right now. And Allison, I know we're expecting an update from the governor about all this soon. We are. We know that he is en route to Charlotte. He posted that on Twitter. And while you mentioned that the campus of UNC Charlotte may be eerily quiet tonight, right outside the front gates of this campus, is anything but. If you take a look, there are media trucks lined up and down University City Boulevard and across the street we are still seeing the flashing blue lights from multiple police cruisers. Tonight, this is just such a difficult report to have to bring to you the fact that we know two people died on the campus of UNC Charlotte this evening and that four others have been shot. As you mentioned, there is a suspect in custody and sources told me that his name is Tristan Andrew Terrell. I'm told he's a 22 year old student. All of this happened earlier this evening inside the Kennedy building in the middle of classes where students thought that they were just giving their final presentations and they told us that out of nowhere with no warning, no words, they heard the sounds of gunshots and many students took off running. The UNC Charlotte campus is still on lockdown and just before the beginning of our broadcast here at 10 o'clock I started to check the Twitter page for the university and they're telling people if you are currently on campus be prepared to identify yourself. You may be able to leave once you are cleared from the building and able to access your vehicles but they're saying that all final exams have been canceled through Sunday and that the union there on campus, the student union has been cleared and can now be a gathering place for the students and staff, no doubt, looking to each other to provide some sort of comfort as everyone tonight asks why this happened and why two people had to senselessly die and four other people were shot. As soon as we got word of this breaking news this evening, not only did we launch Chopper 9 Sky Zoom to bring us the breaking news from above, but we had a crew of reporters who hit the ground, and Deshaun Brown was one of them. Deshaun, you were on the campus when many of those students were being evacuated from the building with their hands up, and you even spoke to some who were in the classroom where the shots were fired. Allison, we arrived on scene within the minutes after the shooting happened, and I can tell you even in the body language of the students that we spoke with, you could see how much they were shaken and how much they will now be impacted by what they witnessed. I do want to show you some of the video that we were able to capture in the moments after the shooting. And one of the images that will always stand out is the image of students still being evacuated from those classrooms with their hands up just to make sure that they were all safe and accounted for as officials here worked to continue to get students out of the classroom and to scan all of those buildings. We also noticed students consoling one another, some of whom witnessed the shooting, some who actually came into contact with victims, others who were just caught in the chaos trying to figure out what was going on. I spoke to a student who was inside that classroom just moments after the shooting, and I want you to hear what she described as this was happening. All I remember was hearing three shots, just three shots, and I went down. Yeah. Every, and the guy next to me got shot. It was just really scary. It happened out of nowhere. I just didn't, I didn't recognize him, I don't know him, he just came out of nowhere. 
And you heard her say it there. He came out of nowhere and shot. I asked her, did he say anything? Did he do anything to alert anyone in the classroom as to why he was doing this or what was going on? She said none of that happened. This literally came out of nowhere. And at the time that we spoke, she also told me that she was still high on adrenaline and was physically trying to calm herself down. Allison and to process all that just happened in her classroom. It's just been an unbelievable tragedy to rock this campus and we know that the UNC police department rushed into action. They actually had a button they could press to lock down the entire building but the investigation tonight just beginning. I'll send it back to you Scott and Erica. Allison Deshaun, thank you very much. And as Allison mentioned, the suspected shooter, here is a picture. Police say he is Tristan Terrell, a 22-year-old student at UNCC. Reporter Glenn Counts was there tonight as police walked him into headquarters in handcuffs. And Glenn has covered crime in the Charlotte area for more than three decades. You've seen hundreds of suspects marched into the headquarters, and you say tonight was different. Yeah, Erica. Uh, uh you know, you mentioned I, I've been doing this for a minute and uh, I was really stunned by the reaction that we got by this suspect. Uh, it really was surprising and when I think about it, it's, I mean, I almost feel like saying knock me over with a feather. Well, Mr. Terrell has been here for a few hours now and the uh, only conclusion that you can reasonably draw from that is that he is talking to investigators. Now, that doesn't come as a surprise because he was talking as he was walked into the law enforcement center and I got a chance to ask him a few questions. I asked him to kind of explain what was going on. Now, out of respect for the uh, victims, the parents and the uh, student body there at UNC Charlotte, uh, we're not cranking up his audio because we don't want to give him a platform for whatever message he wants to get out. Now, I couldn't hear everything that he said, but he kind of looked over and smiled. And I'd be honest with you, I really got the impression that he was uh, proud of what he had allegedly done. The uh, little bit of audio that I could hear from him, it sounded like he said, I shot some guys. So obviously investigators are trying to figure out why, and we can only assume that he is giving them the answer uh, to that question. Obviously, uh, we still don't have a lot of information about him. Yes, he's 22 years old. Yes, he's a student at UNC Charlotte. And uh, he obviously uh, is a history major. But, uh, you know, investigators are going to be here. Then they could be here for hours more, depending on how much longer he wants to talk. It's really up to him. Back to you. All right, our Glenn Counts uh, talking about that um, experience seeing that suspect walked in uh, very, you know, striking and shocking mm -hmm. to was. say the least. Um, only our Channel 9 cameras were there when a wave of investigators arrived at the apartment complex the alleged shooter calls home. Eyewitness News anchor Paul Boyd has been looking into his background tonight. The big question though, everybody wants to know, Paul, is why? Yeah, why would someone do this, Scott and Erica? And that answer may be right here inside the apartment of 22-year-old Tristan Terrell. Moments after Channel 9 confirmed the identity of the alleged shooter, our investigative team found out where he lived, and it's at this new luxury rental apartment in Noda. When my crew arrived there, there was just one CMPD unit outside. A few moments later, a large response team arrived. Now, even though the suspect was in custody, they need to gather evidence from his apartment, computers, journals, any written notes left behind perhaps, and of course, physical evidence there. Sources tell Channel 9 that he shared the apartment with his father. Law enforcement quickly obtained a search warrant, but there were a few tense moments away from our camera as the CMPD bomb unit made sure there were no explosives set by the suspect designed to hurt investigators. That sort of thing has happened before. We can confirm there were no issues and evidence is being gathered right now. And finally, take a look at this video a resident sent to me just a short time ago. It's a view from the elevator inside that apartment complex, looking into the third floor right there where the suspect lived, swarmed with that response team and investigators. And no word on motive yet. Erica, Scott. All right, Paul, thank you. Our Mark Becker was there tonight on the scene as CMPD um, held a news mm -hmm. conference that just wrapped up about 30 minutes ago. And Mark, of course, we're still in the very early stages of this investigation, but they had some information. 
Yeah, and it was UNCC's police chief who really took the lead, Chief Jeff Baker. It was a couple of hours after all of this happened, and I'm told they actually had things pretty well under control uh, long before they came here to brief us, and they wanted to make sure that they had everything they could tell us lined up. And it was, as I said, Police Chief Jeff Baker of UNC Charlotte who then stood here and told us that they were all really just finishing a briefing for uh, the concert that was going to be on campus tonight, a roll call, as it were, when they got the call that there had been a shooting inside a building and that several students may have been shot. He said all of the officers immediately ran toward that building, and here's what he said about that response. We responded immediately, and as I said, we were able to take the suspect into custody. We also, at the same time, simultaneously secured the entire campus. We were able to lock it down through a system that we utilize, and we can simply press to press one button and lock down the majority of campus. And parts of campus were told still on lockdown as they're trying to just make sure that everything is safe there now. UNC Charlotte police were the first to respond, of course, but CMPD will be handling the investigation. You heard Glenn talk about that when they brought that uh, suspect into CMPD headquarters tonight. So those questions will be answered later by CMPD. In the meantime, we've just learned that the governor will be arriving here to our location in about 20 minutes or so. We expect him to weigh in on this tragedy as well. Back to you guys. All right, our Mark Becker reporting. We will have live team coverage continuing tomorrow morning of this sad tragedy at UNC Charlotte, and our coverage will start at 4 a.m. Stay with us right here on Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 10. Coming up, we continue our live team coverage of the tragedy at UNC Charlotte.